Bright Nights at Forest Park is officially underway. This year's lighting ceremony even featured Governor Charlie Baker. And Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane swung by Forest Park earlier tonight and she joins us live in studio with all the details. Lindsay. Chris and Jordan, people we spoke to say Bright Nights opening night is a family tradition and the perfect way to start the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Three, two, one, hooray! <laughs> The sights and sounds of the holiday season in Springfield. Bright Nights at Forest Park kicked off opening night on Wednesday. Joined by city leaders was Governor Charlie Baker, helping to officially light up the park. This is clearly a, a landmark, not just for Springfield, but for the Commonwealth. I'm glad it got 50,000 cars through it last year. I'm sure you're going to do far better than that this year. This is the first time Governor Baker has seen the holiday tradition that has become a staple of Western Mass. He gave the green light last year to allow bright nights to open amid the pandemic with restrictions in place. He takes the time to be out here and uh, that's quite special. He's the first governor ever to make it out here to do this. For others, bright nights is a family tradition years in the making. We've come here for the last few years. We try to beat the traffic today. We didn't do so well. It's a busy night for sure. This year, Sanchez Village is back open after the section was closed last year because of the pandemic. And already families are back enjoying the merry-go-round and saying hi to Santa Claus himself. Well, my daughter was dying to see Santa Claus. She was like, I want to see Santa, I want to see Santa. And uh, we just like to see all the lights. Dr. Seuss Land, uh, Seuss Land is my favorite. I think it's a great time uh, with the family. Uh, it's cost effective. And bright nights will continue into early January. Live in studio, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.